Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com and today we're going to take a look into turning any footage from any camera into Arri Alexa footage. Well, I'm lying, you can't really do that, but we'll look at an interesting effect. In Resolve here, if I go to Open Effects, there is this effect down here. It's called Color Space Transform. As the name suggests, it transforms the color space of your footage. But why would you need to do that? This is designed to make color correction matching different cameras easier. For example, if you're working on a project and you have, uh, for example, footage from an Arri Alexa, a RED, a Sony, and a Canon, and they all come with different color spaces and you want to conform everything to one color space, then it would be very easy. You'll just add the effect to one of your nodes and you would transform all the color spaces to a certain color space, for example, just one of them. And this would make the whole process of matching these shots much easier. So today we're going to take a footage that was shot with Rec. 709, so just normal Rec. 709 footage, and I'm going to add the effect, supposedly transform it into Arri Alexa, use the Alexa LUT to get a very sweet highlight roll off. Let's take a look at it. So this is an empty node and this is my footage here. I'll simply drag the color space transform to the node and notice that the node now has this small icon. This means that this node now contains an open effects effect. If I need to remove the effect at any time, I can simply Simply right click on the node and select remove OFX plugin and it will remove this plugin. So let's take a look at the plugin itself. The only portion that we need to work with for now is the first part, which is the color space transform. Now, this effect works in a very simple way. You need to tell it four different things. What's the original color spacing gamma of your footage? So the original file that you want to convert, what's the uh, color spacing gamma of this file. So this file was shot with Rec. 709. So I'll simply go to input color space, open the drop down menu, scroll down and select Rec. 709. So now it knows that the original footage is Rec. 709. Then I'll go to input gamma and do the same. So open the drop down menu, scroll down and select Rec. 709. Then I need to tell it what's the color space and gamma curve of the new color space, so the color space I want to transform this footage into. In this case, for example, we'll use Arri Alexa. So I'll simply go to output color space, open the drop down menu here, and select Arri Alexa. And then the output gamma, I'll also open the drop down menu and select Arri Log C. And take a look at the footage now. It looks a lot like Arri Log C. However, please don't think that this is enough to get Arri Alexa footage out of, you know, Rec. 709 standard footage. However, this might help a bit. Now, why are we doing this? Because one of the main things that makes Arri footage look great is the unbelievably sweet highlights roll off in Arri Alexa. And now, supposedly, we're getting a better highlight roll off from our footage because it's emulating Arri Alexa highlights. So, this is the log file, and it looks just like any other log file. So now we just got the highlights roll off working. Now we need to view it properly. So we need to reconvert it from Arri Alexa log back into Rec. 709. So we started with Rec. 709 footage that had a highlights roll off that wasn't very pleasing. We supposedly transformed it into Arri Alexa log. So now we have a very sweet highlights roll off, or at least a better highlights roll off. And now in order to view it, we need to turn it back into Rec. 709. In order to do that, I'll use the LUT that is supplied with uh, DaVinci Resolve. So I'll simply go to LUTs here, Arri, and this LUT is supplied by default with DaVinci Resolve. So I'll just add this LUT in a new node. So I'll go to Color, Nodes, add the Serial node. This is the new node, and I'm going to drag the LUT to the new node. And now we have the uh, footage corrected. Let's take a look at the footage before the LUT. So this is the log footage. And now when I get the LUT back, this is supposed to mimic Arri Alexa. Now, what's the benefit here? I'm going to bypass everything here and take a look at the highlights roll off. The highlights or the uh, brightness goes from midtones to highlights very fast in a, in a slightly unnatural way. So I'll get the effect back and now we have a better highlight roll off. Now we just used a lot and I just want you to always remember one thing when you use a lookup table. Footage is like fingerprints. 
they're very unique. Every shot is extremely unique. And to assume that a lot will fix the footage no matter what, of course, that's that will never work because uh, every shot has its own lighting, its own exposure, its own curves, its own, you know, colors. So when you add a lot, always make sure to correct the footage. How would I do this? Now, these are the two lots that are applying the effect. I'll pull them to the right here and I'll add a node before these two nodes. So I'll go to color nodes and I'm going to select add serial before current. So now this is the new node and it's the first node that affects the image. And in this node, I'll simply do some corrections. So I'll uh, get the gain up and bring the lift down a bit. Now that's a lot for gain. Just bring the gain up and increase saturation just a bit. And now take a look at the footage before and after. Note here that I'm deliberately overexposing the face. So the face now is really overexposed. However, this is to demonstrate that this transformation allows you to increase the exposure a lot and retain a nice transition and some information in the highlights even when you push the exposure to the limit. Take a look at the Rec. 709 standard highlights roll off that we had before and now when I enable all the nodes again, take a look at the much sweeter highlights roll off again before after. So this is the color transform effect. Of course, this will also help you if you're working with multiple footage from different cameras. So you can conform everything, for example, only to Rec. 709 or only to a certain log profile that you like. This is extremely powerful and it's a built-in effect into DaVinci Resolve. By the way, if you like this tutorial and you like the way I explain things, you can find a full crash course about DaVinci Resolve on filmsimplified.com. It's absolutely free. And the crash course goes into all aspects of Resolve. So it explains uh, the media tab, the edit tab, uh, the basics of fusion, color grading, audio, and exporting all in one free course and that you can join today. You can find the link to it in the description. Thank you.